Hey guys, so you have moved here or you are here for the visit that you have planned. How do you make the most of being here in Greenville? Or once you live here, how do you get out and actually enjoy Greenville? I'm gonna tell you all of those things and then also pay attention because at the very end of this video, I'm gonna drop you a secret. One of the neat things about Greenville is all of the locally run and operated restaurants. You have to be a foodie whenever you're around here. Downtown, outside of downtown, and all of the surrounding suburbs. And it's not uncommon to see people taking pictures of their food. So some of those local restaurants to check out that the foodies all love, check out places like Roost. The shrimp and grits there is so good. Other places, Sobeys, Gianna's, Pomegranate. You have your steakhouses, you have your seafood, and you have your Italian. But they're local people. I even mentioned in one of our Thursday night live streams about smoke on the water. Good Southern food. Love the shrimp and loaded potato cake there. You don't wanna miss out on that. There's places that they're so unique to Greenville that, I don't know, that you wanna go and visit again. There's also some of my personal favorites here in town. If you like Thai food, there's literally a restaurant off of Augusta Street called the Thai Restaurant. Check it out, you won't be disappointed. Or a local Indian establishment called Saffron. Again, so yummy, cannot recommend going there enough. Now, the Mexican food around here, you don't necessarily want to go to the restaurants. You want to find the food trucks. And those food trucks are scattered all around Greenville, but you will see these trucks out and they cook all day long on Blackstone tops and it smells so good. You won't get better Mexican food than right there. I'm a huge foodie. I love finding new spots to know, try something new. If you need a restaurant recommendation, by all means, ask me. Okay, so I talked about the restaurants and places to get good local food. What about coffee? So here, if you go to a Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts or anything like that, you're really missing out. Here in the upstate, there are so many coffee shops that are locally owned locally roasted, you can go for months without ever going to a Starbucks and you really shouldn't. Some of those, I would recommend going to Bridge City Coffee. Uh, we just went there this morning, actually. They have three different locations in the upstate. There's also Cohesive Coffee, Junto, that's over near the Taylor's Mill. But it's not just Greenville, it's going out to even say Spartanburg. Fun story, when we first started the channel, we went to a different coffee shop every single Friday for like nine months. So you're not going to be limited on options and you're always gonna have a nice fun spot to go for your morning cup of joe. And I need probably two or three. Other things you need to know to make the most is that Greenville is really a outdoors type of city. If you don't hike or bike, or at least like to take a nice walk, go check out Paris Mountain State Park. It's an easy drive up to Table Rock or Bald Rock. And of course, you've gotta get on the Swamp Rabbit Trail. That's a huge thing for Greenville. So as you are exploring, you can actually park in Traveler's Rest, get on the Swamp Rabbit Trail, and it'll bring you all the way into downtown. So check it out, it's a lot of fun. The winter time is super mild around here. The summertime is nice to be outside. You will get outside just as a byproduct of living here. Something else that gets you outside is the Saturday farmer's markets. Farmer's markets here are a big deal. And it's not just downtown Greenville's farmer's market. Did you know that Traveler's Rest actually has one of the top rated farmer's markets in the entire state? The TR Farmer's Market has a couple special events throughout the summertime, like 
the Tomato Sandwich Festival and the Apple Festival. Don't want to miss out on those. It is fantastic. But there's also farmer's markets as well, like Greer has a farmer's market, Fountain Inn has a farmer's market. Something to note about these farmer's markets is that there's a holistic living group of people that live here locally. Now, going to those farmer's markets is gonna get you into those communities. You're gonna meet the people who make a lot of the holistic goods that you're going to want and need for cooking and health. Things that maybe you're not gonna find in your normal store. And it's super important to note, you really need to make sure you have a GPS whenever you live here. The streets around here are kind of like somebody took a bowl of spaghetti, shook it up and let it splat on the floor. There's no really rhyme or reason for how roads are. There's no blocks and easy ways around. So make sure you have your GPS to get around. Other things that you need to know about is the weekends here. Sundays are a big deal. Greenville is literally the buckle of the Bible Belt. Nothing is open in the mornings. That leads me to things close here at night at like nine o'clock. There's not too much that's open super late. So if you wanna do things and you wanna be out and about, your late night life is going to be downtown Greenville most likely. So the arts community. I don't think a lot of people that move here really grasp how big an arts community is actually here. It's so big that they are actually remodeling parts of downtown Greenville to bring those arts communities more into the forefront for everyone to enjoy. So I would say that the arts community here first starts with your traditional art. So your painting, your sculpting, your photographers, they're everywhere here. And this is a really great place for artists that are looking for studio space and recognition because there are some nationally known artists here in the Greenville area. It's super cool. And to be a part of those communities, go and check out the Metropolitan Arts Council that is downtown Greenville. There's also the Greenville Arts Center and they all have so many resources that you really don't wanna miss out on that. So another place to, to pay attention to is the Arts Walk. It's all along Falls Park. You literally walk next to the river and there's these beautiful glass lined studios that have a lot of different artists there. Go say hi to my friend, Larry Seymour. He's a wildlife painter. And I think it'd be fun if you said you heard about him on a YouTube video. That's not all of it. We also have a thriving music scene and a thriving theater movie making scene as well. The film industry here is really starting to pick up steam and there's local festivals coming up and popping up all over the upstate. And that's part of what I said they're remodeling downtown for. Local places that you could actually go and have a film studio there. And there's feature films actually being made here in the upstate. Finally, stuck with me this long, what is that secret? Did you know that Greenville has its own scavenger hunt? There's a really cool book that a child wrote actually years ago that talks about and tells a story about the mice that live along Main Street. So there's a whole scavenger hunt. Go check out that video. It's fun to watch and definitely shows you more of what Main Street Greenville looks like. Let me know what you think about it.